Hello, this is Dr. Heath Van Horn. I'm just here to talk to you about the other part of Lab 19, and that is if you have an issue uh, where you have an IPv6 network and an IPv4 network, and how to get those two networks to work with each other. Um, there are several ways. Uh, Packet Tracer does not allow all those ways to be simulated, so we're going to use the uh, six on four or six in four method so that way we can tunnel between the two networks. The IPv6 network cannot talk to the IPv4 network. However, it can transverse the IPv4 network. So we're going to go over that uh, right now. All right. So we have... Uh, Logistics is such that we have three networks. We have an IPv6 network, and an IPv4 network, and another IPv6 network. All three of these networks can talk to their own components, um, but they can't talk to each other at the moment. And if we want to, we can put an imaginary... Um, block that for some reason you know this network cannot have access um, so red and green can't talk directly to each other usually this is logistical um, so this would be like your uh, maybe you have a, a store in another city but your ISP only does IPv4, so you would need a tunnel. And so we need to get around this blockage so that way our two stores can talk to each other. We're upgraded, but the, but the uh, ISP has not been upgraded. Or whatever network backbone that we're using. I mean, it's very common in large organizations that they would not flip a switch and one day everything is IPv6. Um, that is not uh, realistic. It is very common for parts of the backbone to still be IPv4, even though all the PCs are IPv6. So there's lots of situations where this will occur. So what we're going to do is we're going to tunnel. And so we are going to set up tunneling in IPv6 uh, in the red. And so let's do that first by... Um, setting up our network so that way it would be an IPv4 network. So we'll go to serial port 010 to serial port 010. That makes things easy. I'm just going to move these labels out of the way for the moment because we're only concerned with uh, this connection right now. So we're going to call this network um, I don't know. Let's pull something out. Two, uh, I think I've already used 20, 20, 20, haven't I? Um, yes, I have. So let's do um, like 50.0.0.0. And we're just trying to do um, our network. So we'll just leave it at that. And we'll put SE, was it 0, 1? zero and we'll make that dot one and we'll make this end se zero one zero and we'll make that end dot two all right so we got that connected so now we have this ipv4 bridge going between these these two pcs so let's let's put those IP addresses in place first before we do much else. So enable config t. Um, interface with se zero one zero. IP address add fifty dot zero dot zero dot two. 255.255.255.0. All right. No shut. Okay. 
exit. All right. So we did that side. Now we'll do the other side. Okay, so that's up. And we haven't set up any routes yet, but we know that the link is talking because we got the green arrow, so that's good. And then it just updated the status change. Okay, so now let's do the same thing. Uh, we haven't used 001, and let's see if we used uh, 001. We have used that one on this one already. So we have not used 011 we have not used 011. Okay, so let's just do 011 on those. And so we will attach a cable here to 011 and a cable here to 011. That makes things a little bit easier for us to remember. We'll make the network here 60.0.0. And then we'll do this side SE011 as being dot uh, two, and then we'll do SE011 dot one. Um, there we go. All right. So again, what we'll do is, is we'll put in um, these uh, network ports, configure them, interface SE011, IP address of 60.0.0.1255255255.0. No shot. Okay. So we'll do it on this side. Enable. Config T. Interface with SE011. IP address 60.0.0.2255255.0. No shut. And now we got green arrows. Okay. So now we have a wired connection between these two uh, networks, the red network and the green network. And as soon as we accomplish the tunneling, because you notice that these are IPv6. These are IPv4. Those don't mesh. All right. So now we are going to configure the tunnels. So we're going to go back to here. And let's program the tunnel. All right. So we're just going to interface with tunnel 0. because And we're making up that number. It could be tunnel, you know, 74. But I'm just using tunnel 0. All right, so we say, hey, tunnel zero has been activated. The state is up. And we're going to say the tunnel source is serial port um, SE010. That is the source. The destination. is this part right over here. This is the other end of the tunnel. It doesn't care that this is in the middle. So it wants to get to the other end of the tunnel, so the destination for that tunnel is going to be um, 60.0.0.2. Uh, 
All right. And then we say tunnel mode. And we're saying IPv6 is going to ride IPv4. You just type in IP just like you would uh, before. So we say the tunnel mode is that. The state is now up. And then now we have to give that tunnel an IP address. So we're just going to do IPv6 address for the tunnel because we're still in the tunnel, making the tunnel settings. IP address, and we'll say something clever like, I don't know, um, 7777. Okay. Um, actually, it's an IPv6 address. So we'll do something even more clever and we'll say how about 4044 um, 1 64. And let me write this down before I forget what tunnel address we're giving so I don't have to look it up. Okay. So we do that. And now we do no shut because we don't want the tunnel to shut off. And now one end of the tunnel, the red side of the tunnel, is configured. So now we want to go to the other end of the tunnel, which is the green side, and we want to do the exact same thing by configuring the tunnel. All right, so we say interface tunnel zero. Tunnel zero has been created. We're going to say the tunnel source is serial port 011 which is right here that is our tunnel source from this end all right the tunnel destination is the IP address at that end 50.0.0.2 be helpful if I spelt it right. Des destination. Just faster to retype it. Okay. And then tunnel mode is again IPv6 over IP4. It says up. And we say IP v6 address for this leg, leg of the tunnel. We are going to make 40042. All right. And now we have that uh, completed. All right, so we established um, these interfaces. And I've lost track here. Tunnel Zero has the IP address of 4042. So let's type that in there. Tunnel Zero. 4,042, and this one is tunnel 0, 4,041. All right. Let's just double check. Tunnel 0 is 40441, and this one is 4004. Okay, so this one needs to get changed. Because there's an error.
All right. So let's just double check. 40041. Yep. And 40042. Yep. Okay. So now we have this tunnel established. All right. So now we got to set up routing for both IPv6 and IPv4. So we go here to the red router and we set up um, an IPv4 route. And look, what's our address for that link? 50. Okay, so we just put router egrip 50.0.0.0. .0 .0 .0. Egrip, and we got to have a number for it. So let's try 50. That way we have a label. All right. So, and then we put an IP address, or then we put the network in there, which is 50.0.0.0. Just because they're both 50s, it's coincidental, um, not because they're actually related to each other. Okay. And now we've added that network to there. All right. So now we come down here. And we say okay we say router egrip 50 and the network that we're attached to is 60.000 okay so 60.000 okay Then we got to set up our blue router, the exact same thing. Router egrip fifty <coughs> net is going to be sixty zero. New adjacency, that means it's good. Network 50.0.0.0. New adjacency, so that one's good. All right, so now we got to configure IPv6 routing. All right, so this is where things can get a little tricky. Um, all we're going to do, because our, our IPv6 routes are going to be uh, tunneling through the IPv4, all we have to do is do the IPv6 routes for each end. <coughs> all right, because we don't know what IP routes are going to be down here, what we're going to do is to say, send all IPv6 traffic that we do not know what to do with, and that is indicated by this. Sorry. And we're going to send it to the IPv6 address of the tunnel at the other end, which is 40042. All right. And then we exit out of there. Okay. And now we do the same thing on this side. We want to send all traffic we don't know what to do with. So we do an IPv6 route. Anything we don't know what to do with to 40041. Okay? So we're saying, hey, anything that this router cannot evaluate in any other way we are going to send over here to this other end of the tunnel. And that's it. All right, so now we can try pinging from one end to the other. And I'll show you what that looks like. So if we, let's open up this one here. We can see, we'll keep that on top. <clears throat> so we can see that IP address and we come down here
and we put ping. If you're using Windows, it's ping-6, but this is just a generic simulator, so it just allows you to do ping. So we'll ping, and then we want 7 delta, 5 bravo, colon, colon, 205, colon, 5 echo, foxtrot, foxtrot, foxtrot echo, charlie echo, 22, 8 delta. All right, and then it's not going. So we need to figure out why that is. Either I type something in wrong, or I completely got it wrong. So we want to edit that. We did DHCP earlier. IPv6, we want to look at IPv6. All right, so we open this back up again. Was it that one? No, it was this one. All right. Okay, so if we hit that, now it makes a packet. We can watch the packet, and we can see what's going on. Okay, so it sees it get there. Oh, I see what the problem is. Okay, do you see what the problem is? Jamal, are you looking? Do you see what the problem is? Watch. Watch carefully. going to get there and then it's going to it's getting closer what's going to happen come on it's going to die right here boom because we have not set up this router to handle all router requests it doesn't know what to do with them so we're going to do the exact same thing that we did with the other routers So I'm just gonna, I'm gonna shut this down here real quick. Go to real time and let that play itself out. And we're gonna go to this router, and you're gonna have to do this for every one of your routers. So we do uh, enable config, oops, config t, and we do IPv6 route. we don't know what to do with our packet, we are going to send it to um, this router over here whose IP address is 10 10 1 64 and let him make the decision. Okay, well, I didn't like that. What did I type wrong? IPv6 route 64. Oh, you don't put 64 in the second one. All right, so, um, and now our route should work just fine. We'll go back to the simulation. We'll go back here to this one. And now, we have an envelope that we can watch. We'll speed this up just a little bit. We'll hit play and watch our little packet go out through the tunnel. And now it comes out over here. And it should make its way back. And don't don't forget, you gotta set up uh, what to do with all other packets at these other routers. You just send them to the next hop and let that guy worry about them. Okay? And that's it. We have 100% connectivity. All right, guys. Um, that is how you bridge uh, or connect to IPv6 um, networks using an IPv4 uh, network. There are other ways to do it. I tried to make Packet Tracer do the conversion, 
that does not work. Um, it, it's just not been, the simulator will not uh, replicate that net translation. <clears throat> so the real equipment does it, but the emulator does not. Uh, you can also do a thing that's called dual stack. And what that means is that for this IPv4 network, every component on here, we also give it a secondary IPv6 address. That way you can just make that connection. But sometimes you don't have access to the network to be able to do that. So this is most commonly is, this is, the red is yours, the green is yours, the blue you have no access to. They give you a piece of wire and say, connect to that. And you just kind of look at it and go, what the crap am I supposed to do here now? So um, that's kind of realistic how that works. Or that you have an old network that you're upgrading pieces of the new network bit by bit. And this is by far the easiest way uh, to have IPv6 work on the network. Um, especially if they don't have to talk to the blue network or any components on the blue network. So, okay guys. Um, have a nice day. Please enjoy this assignment. It is going to be fun, I promise you. It looks like a lot, and it is a lot. Just do a little bit each day. Build your IPv4 network with DHCP server. You will be fine. You know how to do that. Um, then build an IPv6 network over here, and then build an IPv6 network over here, and then worry about the tunneling piece okay so get each individual network working correctly and then work on how to get them to talk to each other all right that's it enjoy uh have a nice day